In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Here I am with, with Noah Surah, and I will try to interpret uh, the comment on the Surah. We sent Noah to his people. You shall warn your people before it. Painful retribution afflicts them. He said, "All oh, my people, I am a manifest warner to you, to alert you that you shall worship God, reverence Him, and obey Me. He will then forgive uh, you your sins and respite you for a predetermined period. And most assuredly, God's appointment can never be delayed. Once is due if you only knew." He said, My Lord, I have invited my people night and day, but my invitation only increased their aversion. Whenever I, I invited them to be forgiving by you, they placed their fingers in their ears, covered themselves with their clothes, insisted, and turned arrogant. Then I invited them publicly. Then I reclined to them boldly, and I spoke to them privately. I said, implore your Lord for forgiveness. He is forgiving. He will then shower you generously with rain, provide you with money and children and orchards and streams. Why shouldn't you, why should you not start to reverence God? He is the one who created you in stage. Do you not realize that God created seven universes in layers? He designed the moon therein to be light and placed the sun to be a lamp. And God germinated you from the earth like plants. When he returns you into it, he will surely bring you out. God made the earth habitable for you that you may build roads therein. Noah said, My Lord, they disobeyed me, and full of those who were even more corrupted when blessed with money and children. They schemed terrible schemes. So they're, they're not only disbelievers, they're actually doing terrible things to the believers. They said, Do not abandon your gods. Do not abandon what Suwa, Yakut, and Yakut, and Nasr. So these are their uh, gods. They misled many. Therefore, let the wicked plong, plunge deeper into laws. So because of their sins, they were drawn and assigned to the hellfire. They found no helpers to protect them from God. Noah also said, My Lord, do not leave a single disbeliever on earth. For if you let them, they will only mislead your servants and give birth to nothing but wicked disbelievers. My Lord, forgive me and my parents and anyone who enters my home as a believer and all the believing men and women, but do not give the disbelievers anything but annihilation. So here <coughs> Noah uh, is tired of the the community um, and then uh, so that he prays for God and they it is not only about disbelieve or not believe and they do bad things and Noah say that just um, just that God is forgiving just uh, stop repent and be a good person but they're not they're not interested in so and they were drawn and assigned to the hellfire, and they found no, no helpers protect them from God. And, and this is the, his, his perspective. So he wants them to be uh, disbelievers, to be annihilated, because they also uh, cause others not to believe. And this is very important, like because uh, once they affect others, they, they invite others to hell, and they may contribute so that, um, and they may, it's a great big sin, so, and it is, it can cause them to be annihilated. So, anyway, that, thanks for watching this video. And, and this, this surah is actually one of the unique surahs, I guess. So, this from the beginning that you see the Nas 
uh, complaining about the community and uh, so and then it also mentions that if they have money and children more resources they're more corrupted because they have more power they scheme terrible schemes so with the, the more power they can scheme terrible schemes and and so thinking that that since they they're behaviorally uh, incent so that they, this is like incentive for them so sort of like they blast with money and children they feel that they can do it and they feel they're enough they're powerful uh, they're like a god or uh, so then <clears throat> they they worship gods that they know that they cannot go that those gods cannot bring anything and you know the Abrahams so you know once they they also know they actually know that inside they cannot do anything but they believe because they uh, actually want God to be that um, without effect so you know those those gods cannot make an anything so if you have such God then you can do everything you're free in the world and you can scheme and you can hurt people and so that's why Noah prays like this so anyway thanks for watching this video and hope to see you in the next video